Okay. Uh, for our vocabulary, uh, number one, show something off. That's kind of self-explanatory. Uh, anything that you are showing with pride. Um, you know, I, I got the new Note 5 and I'm showing it off. Uh, <laughs> number two, to drop your face. Actually, number two is a great expression that uh, I remember reading in a lot of books growing up uh, to talk about when someone is surprised or shocked and suddenly very sad or disappointed mm -hmm. or uh, and it's, it's kind of dramatic actually to say someone dropped uh, if their face dropped or if their face fell uh, so mm, you know if you're reading a book and it's kind of like a very dramatic novel it, it'll say uh, you know, I went out with my father, we had a great day for his birthday, uh, and suddenly he got a message and his face fell. Mm. And it's like, no, 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 oh my God, what happened next? I have to know, you know, and it, it's kind of adding drama about uh, when suddenly something happens and when they realize that they, they, their uh, facial expression just kind of drops down and they look really sad. Number three, dignitary. So that's, that's a high ranking official. Uh, pretty much in any government, so um, I, I guess you could say like uh, you know anyone anyone that works for like uh, uh, President Obama's cabinet would be considered like a, a dignitary. People that work in Congress will be considered dignitaries. Uh, number five, cufflink. Uh, uh, isn't that the same in Korean? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's just you put it on the end of your sleeves, right? Um, number six, quick on your feet is a great expression for uh, being able to adapt very quickly to your surroundings, your environment, any kind of situation around you. Uh, you, um, you see something happening and you react very well. So a lot of times when you have like a new job, and it's, especially if it's a really challenging job, they, they prepare you by saying, okay, you need to be quick on your feet. Like, you need to pay attention and react very quickly. Yeah, be quick on your feet. Or you can say, oh, uh, you know, my, my friend, he's really good at sales. He's really quick on his feet. He's very clever. De facto, uh, de facto is, is saying something that's sort of like an accepted fact. Uh, so, mm, it, it's like if you say, uh, Coca-Cola mm -hmm. is the de facto beverage of the world. Mm -hmm. And usually you say de facto and then like you describe it. So, so you say like the, the subject, like I said, Coca-Cola mm -hmm. is the de facto and then, you know, describe it, beverage of the world, mm -hmm. like that. Uh, concierge, uh, we know that. Mm -hmm. Promise, <laughs> uh, promise to sell someone's firstborn. Uh, so this, this is a, uh, an expression that people use when they say that they went through a lot of trouble to do something. They made a huge sacrifice with their time and their effort and their money. And um, they, they say, like, uh, oh, you don't know what I just went through to do this for you. I just sold my firstborn son, or I just sold my firstborn. And uh, another way to say it is like, um, let's say you, uh, you're making like a, a business proposal or something like that and it was declined. Mm -hmm. And then you get really frustrated. Mm -hmm. I just sold my firstborn son over here. You know, and it's sort of like a reaction too. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's, it's just to, to make a, a description of, of how much trouble you went through to do something. Mm -hmm. And that's our